so guys in previous four slides we have talked a lot about simple partial scissor and complex partial scissor and i am sure by this time you are facing difficulties already remembering facts which one is what so, okay so for you guys at a glance i am describing sps and cps in a single page and you will answer with me okay now first difference focal on set both scissors are focal on set with sps is without discognitive feature and complex partial scissor is with discognitive feature i'm sure you are saying with me yes okay now loss of consciousness present or absent in sps it is absent in cps it is present and during which time it was present it is present during the motionless stare of the patient okay which occur after the aura now cause behind it i told you simple partial scissor is almost always always associated with the cause be it a always associated with cause and complex partial scissor usually not associated with cause it is usually a part of epilepsy syndrome okay whether associated with epilepsy syndrome never simple partial scissor is never associated with epilepsy syndrome complex partial scissor yes almost always and most common is mesial temporal lobe epilepsy okay postural confusion is it there in sps no is it there in cps yes it may be easy absolutely normal in simple partial scissor in cps yes it is usually abnormal pathology indicating temporal lobe and in temporal lobe which one is, which area is most affected gets most affected it is hippocampus very good now in investigation what can we find ct scan on even affecting in ct scan in sps yes we may find huge ischemia we may found tumor tuberculoma neurocystic sarcosis and in cps if we do an mri we will find what three things 1 2 3 number 1 abnormal hyper intensity hyper intense temporal lobe number 2 small sized number 3 asymmetric okay now treatment usually in sps is usually treated by medicines yes i will obviously come back to it later what will be the management of uh, scissors and in case of uh, cps it is usually resistant to medicine treatment so the only effective treatment is surgery and that is hippo campectomy okay so that's it simple partial scissor and complex partial scissor i hope uh, i have cleared many doubts uh, on this topics because these topics are very important and can be very confusing in time to time and you have to uh, be prepared always to answer the questions in exam okay thank you